Hello everybody and welcome to vlog 517. I'm in a really awkward position. I'm in between two doors right now in, in um, the Heidelberg and in June Lake. Anyways, it's Saturday night and, and of course it's a recap vlog. I'm recapping um, my day at June Mountain with my Boy Scout troop, but uh, most importantly, it was my first day at June Mountain in my life. And uh, um, originally I thought June Mountain was kind of a joke. It's like a tiny mountain that they want. They really want customers, but Mammoth is so much better. Nope, that's not true. I loved June Mountain. Like, it's crazy. It was so awesome. You like it's it was pretty it was just really good. <laughs> okay, that's kind of my point. It was um uh, it's just such a great mountain. Um I have to make sure no one goes comes through either though. Um anyways, we spent the whole day here. We got here at like I fell asleep at like eleven forty last night or something. Um spent a day here. We started off um went up J1 up to the lodge. Really, really cool lift. Then took Anton off J2. Anton's kind of a beginner, so I, um, we met up and I let him start to um, take lessons from Bob. And then me, um, Jackson, Cameron, and uh, Lucas, all from Boy Scouts, those are the only kids other than Anton that came. We went up J6 up to the top. We took some awesome runs. I literally, I love this mountain so much. Mammoth, it has something Mammoth does not have. First of all, Mammoth doesn't have, um, June doesn't have any lines. Mammoth has lines. Mammoth has everything. It has the scenic gondola, it has the great terrain, and it has the lift lines. Over here, no lines. No, no lines for like anything. Um, like literally, you just ski right into the lift. But, um, took up J6. We did a whole bunch of runs from J6 um, before lunch. Crazy, me and Jackson kind of split off and kept going kept doing it. I mean, it was so fun. Literally, it's like the best mountain because the run was so long. We're literally, I'm just trying to make sure no one's doing my stuff. We're literally bombing down the run for so long. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I gained a lot of confidence this week, today, actually. I mean, we were, I, we were just bombing, completely bombing the run. Like, no, no breaks, no nothing. We were just completely bombing the entire run, but it lasted for like five whole minutes straight. I'm talking, this is a long run. And we're just going and going and going and going and going, and then we ride up to high speed, and then going and going and going and going. And going. I mean, perfect. It's not too, it's not too steep where you where you have the instinct to turn a lot. It's, but it's not too. Oh my gosh, that's Jackson. It's not too steep where you where you have the natural instinct to want to start to slow down to keep yourself from falling. But it's not, he's laughing at me so hard. But it's not too, I keep wanting to say shallow, but it's not too shallow or not steep where you wanna, where you know you can't get enough speed from one. There's a perfect one where you don't feel like you have to break, but you just get all the speed and you just go flying down. Um, then we had lunch. I, uh, me and Jackson got in trouble for ditching Cameron and Post kind of like, And then, um, but we didn't. We told them, hey, we're going to go split off. And they didn't um, think it. So and that's what happened. And then um, we started, we went up J6 and then cut down. Oh my gosh, awesome bottom run. Down to J7. We went up. I was I forgot to charge my GoPro at lunch. So I was literally charging it in my backpack while we were going with the lifts. Um, and then we started going up J7. <laughs> Jackson was laughing at me so hard. Uh, we started heading up JSEP. It was um, crazy. We had some locals up there, but then we tried Deer Bowl on um, Shotzi or whatever. Both blacks, both awesome. Then we traversed down, and then the other one we took Matterhorn out. We went under the lift run. I mean, literally, um, it, that was a kind of a confidence push when I went down Deer Bowl because Deer Bowl looked pretty steep. Um, I just forced myself and I went, I started going down. Once you jump into the bowl, you can't get out. It was not very hard at all. Um, just start, and then we just bomb. We bomb, 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 bomb. We, like, that's the most used word today. We just bombed so hard. We bombed every single run. This mountain is so awesome. I literally want to ski here another day. Although the only downside is it is a small mountain. So after like three hours of going up J7, we did get a bit tired of it, but but that was the time when the mountain closed, so we had to leave anyways. But um, it's a small mountain. Um, this is this would be a great weekend mountain because I mean Saturday is the busiest day of the week for ski resorts and stuff. 
but no one, like literally no one here, um, just bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> That's literally what we did, bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, so it's definitely a great weekend resort because no lines, it's not too expensive, and um, you can just, you can just bomb, bomb, bomb. I can't stop saying that, we, but it's just, it's crazy, it's awesome. Um, I want to say something else. Oh, another week. Oh, yeah. But it's, it's great as a weekend resort, but it can never be anything longer than a weekend. No way. Because it is a small mountain. Me and Belki did almost every run on round today, with the exception of maybe five open ones. I mean, there, there was like the whole face um, under J1. I was all closed because there's not enough snow. But the rest of the mountain, we only didn't do like five runs, which were, or maybe f 10, which were all the double black bulls from the top of seven. And then we missed two off of J6, and then there were some green runs off J2. J2 is nine minutes. I'm like, I'm not doing that anymore. Did that twice today. Um, but yeah, great. I would definitely love to come back tomorrow, but I'm going to choose Mammoth over that. I'm super excited to go to Mammoth tomorrow. But yeah, all in all, I, I wish I had done this vlog earlier because earlier I was literally so, like literally all I could think. I mean, I, I hope... I hope the vlog, vlog 515 turned out good. It's literally bomb, bomb, bomb. I got so much GoPro feet. I mean, this is going to be a great GoPro vlog. Because on GoPro, you don't want to see steep runs. You want to see fast. And we bomb, 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 bomb. That's what we did. We bomb, bomb, bomb. We bombed the runs. And that's going to look, I think that's going to look great on GoPro. You can't hear. I sang on like practically every one, every run. I don't know why. I was such, I was just in such a happy mood. I couldn't, I was just singing all this 80s music for no reason. And then, um, when then, you probably won't be able to hear me unless I was doing my Michael Jackson screams. But, um, you probably won't be able to hear me because I was going stuff as the wind. But, um, <sighs> bomb, bomb, bomb. I have to keep doing it, you guys. Because that's literally what we did. I know I've been saying it the whole lot. But we just, we bombed all the runs. It was so much fun. I, I usually don't bomb. I usually kind of get in some nice turns, some nice cars, but today, today was all about dropping bombs. We were bombing bombs. Drop, speaking of dropping bombs, I dropped two bombs today in the hotel. Um, Daniel and Nathan would probably get that. Anyways, we bombed all the runs today. So much fun. That's the one thing you can't get a man. Like, Mammoth is such a great mountain, but I don't, I can't think of any run right now off the top of my head that are like this that you can just bomb them, like bomb, 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 like that. Someone just walked by with a six pack of coke. He's going down the steps now. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Can't do that on my, I can't think of any run right now. Maybe I'll try and find one tomorrow now that I have more confidence in bombing, but, but there's not many, there's not really any runs I can think of right now at Mammoth where you can, they're the perfect steepness where you can just bomb them like that at full speed. I mean, I'm talking, we were bombing black diamonds and that's a crazy feeling. I mean, I love June and I think I also just got a confidence boost today. Everyone around me's bombing. I mean, I really, when I started, I didn't, you know, there's a certain, when you're skiing, even if you don't want to stop, your mind will tell you. Like I was thinking about this when I was going down Eagle. Sometimes when I'm skiing, I want to stop, but then when I get on the loop and all of a sudden I just, I have my speed and my butt, my instincts, my bodily instincts don't stay or slow down. You think about slowing down consciously, <coughs> like how you're going to do it, but, but it's your body that subconsciously is the one who's um, saying whether you need to slow down or not. And um, I don't know. Just when I looked at the hill, when I started going down the hill, when I was bombing the hill, my body didn't say you need to slow down. It might have a little. I was doing the classic thing that the pro skiers do when they're just, they've done their double blacks and they're just coming down the intermediate trying to go to the base of the lift and they're just, like, they kind of um, just curve a little bit. And it's, and it's, it's a really fun technique. I feel so professional doing it. Anyways, that's my day June mountain. That was a horrible recap. I wish I'd done it earlier because earlier I was like literally, I was like so hyper with happiness with June Mountain. I'm coming to Mammoth in April over spring break. And I think I'm gonna ask my dad if he can, I mean, it's a weekend trip. I think that we're skiing Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. And in all honesty, I'm probably gonna tell, unless I have a great time at Mammoth tomorrow. I mean, I'm not saying I won't. I'll have a great time at Mammoth tomorrow. 
but I'll probably ask my dad to take me up on Saturday. Not Friday, not Sunday. Saturday is the busiest day of the week for ski resorts, like I said. So if I'm going to choose any day to go to the no lift line zone, I'm going to choose Saturday. And now more people are looking at me for vlogging because they can't see my phone. My phone's like perfectly in between the, the door. Here they are. Yeah, your boy. <coughs> Anyways, bomb, bomb, bomb. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'll probably have him take me up. I'll probably have my dad just choose a day to like take me up to or Saturday. I just chose today to take me up to June because I had so much fun here. I would love to come up here. It's 20 minutes north of Mammoth. We could make it. I would love to just come up here during the, like on a ski day and just have fun here with my dad. My dad's a pretty great skier. Not as good as Bob Brown, but pretty good, pretty good. I mean, Bob, I couldn't believe him. He drops it in this black diamond bowl and literally goes straight down at top speed. Like, I mean, I'm bombing the runs, but uh, okay, the first, at the top of Deer Bowl, I'm making some, I'm making some carbs, and then I start to go fast, but I still, I'm still making this pretty nice GS turn. He just goes, I'm like, people come in. Anyways, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this video, if you like this like this video, if this like, share your opinion, comment section down below. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Alright, I did the outro. Bomb in those runs. Hunter, if you're watching this, come back to June Mountain, please. You had such a great time here. I was literally, I, I, that was, this is the, this was the best ski day I've had all year. I don't care how many times I went to Manhattan or sun, just skiing down in the sunlight. In the nice sunlight. Bomb in the runs. It was so sunny. It was always stormy at Mammoth, but it was all in the sun. It was just really nice. Bye, guys.